Hey, so I want to do a little thing on the mayflies again here. Uh, yeah, I was talking about matching the hatch. Another thing, you know, where there's mayflies, there's a lot of bluegill, brim stuff sitting under in the lakes and rivers. And I'm going to show you kind of what I'm looking for. I mean, I saw a picture there, or I showed you a picture. And uh, this is what they look like in the trees. And when to find mayflies is after heavy rains in the summer. So here in North Alabama, we just had a whole bunch of rain uh, yesterday. So all the mayflies are out this morning. So I'm going to shake a tree and I'll show you what these things do and look all right, like. Alright, so you can see them up in the tree. It's kind of hard to see here. Let's see. Alright, basically it's going to be like just craziness here. So look at that. They're just all over. Just tons of these things. So there's one on the lens. So that's what you look for. Shake a couple trees. They're in here real heavy. Woo, look at that. <laughs> so it's not a shaking tree, but this is kind of what you get out here. They're just going crazy under this stuff. I'm gonna have to, looks like a bunch of bluegill out here. I'm gonna have to uh, get some bluegill action going. I'm gonna get my hooks on. I'll be back. Okay. All right. So I got one here. Basically, simple bait up right here. Got a little hook. Only the hook cut matters. What color? Just go right through like that. Real easy. We got a split shot. This I'm going about a foot down. Got it on a 10 pound test. So let me get down here and see what I can get. Oh, things are everywhere. We got them all. So, real simple here. Just going to flip it out. Bait stealers, man. He's taking my bait. Good thing I got plenty of it. Switch up to a white jig head here. Or pumpkin seed. Now that's a pretty fish right there. Yeah, that's down here in the Alabama waters. Make great fish, good, uh, good bait and stuff. Real colorful. So kind of think of that fish when you're picking lures out. All the orange and the greens and stuff. They'll be a little darker, a little lighter, just depending. That's a lot more I'm talking about. So I just, so I just got a, another really nice pumpkin seed out here. You know, the, they don't they don't get much bigger than this. You know, nice fat little fish. The colors on it pretty. So, you know, it's got some red up here on the fin. You can kind of see the color. Nice fish, fun to catch. Everywhere out here. So. Load up and see if I can get another. Okay, so I got it. Let's show you what I'm tell you what I'm doing here. Casting out, and I'm doing it. I got a light drag and I'm gonna get a tight line. I'm waiting for the float to go down, pretty obvious. And when I do it, 
a lot of times I reel up. I'm going to reel up on this and I'm going to pull back and set the hook at the same time. I just got four pound test, so you don't want to jerk too hard. You know, a lot of people like to crank the drag. See, like that already. Bam. Started reeling. He's a little guy, but that's it. So, oh man, he inhaled that one. All right, let's get right back out there. Go out a little further just past the tree. Right, 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 right out, right there. Perfect, right there, right off that tip right there. So you can see it, let's see it drop. There it is, right there. Oh, this is a bigger one. No, get out of there. There he goes. Ah, come on, yeah. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, there's a big pumpkin seed right there. Woo. Look at the fat belly on that bad boy. Look at the color. Now that, that's a big pumpkin seed right there. Holy smokes. Wow. No, he fell in the water. Man, that was a big one. Dropping a little deeper, a little deeper. Let's try that. There it is, yeah. A little deeper, a little further out. Oh, there's a nice one. Another great one. Well, this pumpkin seed looks like. Got them in the shade here. They don't have a lot of color in the shade, but. This one's got a lot of yellow on it. So check that one out. It's hard to see, but you know, nice fish. You know, they're quick to the bite. Come on, fish. Hey guys, so you know, shaking those trees out there. Get out there after it rains, shake a few trees. Great way to catch lots of brim, bluegill. Any kind of sunfish out there, perch, white perch, yellow, all that kind of stuff. Anything that feeds on bugs, trout, you name it, they'll go for it. But after you shake those trees, all those bass will show up. They'll trigger the fish to come out and bite. You know, I've been throwing a buzz bait. I got one by the dock. And uh, I'll be throwing out here under these trees here in a little bit. But that's kind of what you're doing out there, what you're looking for. You know, just shake the trees. Get out there. Have fun fishing, guys.